So this video is directed towards Naomi, and to be honest, I was hesitant, hesitant to even make this video because, uh, because I didn't know how you, Naomi, would react to this. But I wanted to express my opinions and thoughts about something I've been wanting to say for a while. So I guess here I go. <laughs> so uh, I know you receive a lot of rude and inappropriate and lewd comments and questions on IGN and various other websites, especially IGN and especially The Daily Fix, since I watch that. So when I go and watch The Daily Fix and read you know, the thread and everything like that, I read these comments and questions, sometimes I, I see these really rude comments and questions, I'm like, or I'm like, are you serious? Did you really just ask her that question? Right, ask her that inappropriate question or that rude of a comment. And, you know, it's just like, I'm like, I always want to ask them, were you raised to have any manners at all or any respect towards women at all? It's like, I understand this is the digital and technology or, you know, internet age or whatever you want to call it, but it's like, come on. It's like, I feel like it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't mean you can be rude on the internet and say whatever you want, even though I have no control over that. But continuing on, um, I feel like you're not just some previous at IGN. You're a person, a human being, just like the rest of us, all, all around us. And, you know, you're not an object or a piece of meat. You, you have feelings, you have emotions, you have thoughts, you have opinions, you have a personality, you have a sense of humor, you have interests, etc. You basically have, a, you basically have everything, everything that, like, that everyone else has. And continuing on from that, it was not... To me, it was awesome and an honor to finally meet you at TwitchCon. Like, it, when I was able to talk to you for a little bit, because when I was able to talk to you for a bit, you know, I've, even though it was for like sort of like a short amount of time, uh, it was. I remember reading all these really rude and you know, lewd and inappropriate comments about you and everything like that, and some some of them just sound like pure jealousy. I was like, wow, you know, it just sounded kind of immature, but I was like, wow. When I started talking to you, I was like, this is completely opposite from what I read on the internet. And of course, I didn't believe anyone on the internet. And, you know, it was, you just had this really chill and cool personality. And you're such a cool and fun person to talk to. And that was so awesome. And, you know, again, I have to thank Brittany for this because, you know, I'm so thankful to her because she, re she re retweeted your tweet about you being at TwitchCon. And, um, the funny thing is, I was, during the middle of the day, sometime or during that same week, I was on Twitter on my phone, I was like, looking at my phone, I was like, wait, she's going to be at TwitchCon? I'm going to TwitchCon that exact same weekend. I'm like, awesome, and, you know, I get to finally meet you, and it was awesome to finally talk to you. And so, you know, the funny thing, here's the funny thing, is that, you know, continuing, continuing on, uh, is that, you know, I feel like sometimes you're just judged based on your appearance and, okay, I won't deny this, yes, you are a very attractive young woman. I won't deny that at all. I just feel like sometimes people just judge you based on your appearance and I feel like they haven't talked to you, they either maybe haven't talked to you or met you before. Because when I talked to you for that, even though for that short amount of time, which was maybe like five to ten minutes, I don't remember exactly, I don't exactly remember or anything. I don't remember exactly remember the exact time. But you just had this really chill and cool personality, and it was so darn awesome talking to you. And I could tell, even though it, this might sound silly and everything uh, to say, because we've only met once, is that, and we've only talked once, is that, you know, you don't, you know, you're not just, you don't, you seem not to, you seem not to just be a person who, you know, you seem to not only be beautiful on the outside, but you seem to be a beautiful person on the inside as well. And then continuing from that, this might sound all really, again, this might sound really silly and everything to say. However, um, even though we've only talked and met once, and th these are my opinions and thoughts. And I'm fully aware that I might, because of this video, I might receive comments of people calling me a white knight or whatnot. But to be honest, it doesn't really bother me too much because... I'll stand firm to what I believe and what my thoughts and opinions are. And to wrap up this video, I wanted to throw this out there that, you know, I did this video because I feel like the internet can only do so much when you type up words on the internet. I wanted to express how I feel, you know, to you and 
uh, what my thoughts and, and opinions were from what I thought of my own heart, and also I wanted to say them through my own through my own voice and everything because I, I feel like you deserve that much at least. So I think that'll wrap it up for this. However, um, if I don't see you this month or next month at an event, I will for sure see you at the birthday bash party that you're hosting. And I'll be able to hand, I will see you there and be able to hang out with you there. But until then, I hope, I hope you have a fantastic and wonderful rest of your day, Naomi. And I hope you keep up being the super cool and awesome person that you are. And I'll see you then. Thanks again.